Good morning. In addition to our mass intentions this day, let us also remember our first and frontline responders, our local faith communities, family, and friends. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My sisters and brothers, gathered this day giving thanks and praise to Almighty God, we once again open our minds and hearts to his ongoing call to mercy, healing, and compassion. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant through the intercession of St. Simon and St. Jude that the church may constantly grow and increase by your love of your name, and all may believe in you, through Christ our Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours, day pours out the word to day, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus went up the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When day came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, the church celebrates St. Simon and St. Jude. Although we have very little knowledge about them, we know one thing about each of them for certain that the Lord saw in them great potential, the same potential he sees in each of us. Simon was a zealot, a member of the political party trying to overthrow the Roman governance. And we know even less about Jude, although he has become the patron saint of causes that seem hopeless or impossible. Through prayer and discernment, the Lord chose them Perhaps it was their abilities to be single-hearted in mission and purpose, or perhaps their compassion and concern for others, or even their openness 
to the word and the will of God. Whatever it was, he chose them specifically, just as he chooses us. Even though the world may know little to nothing about us a thousand years from now, the world should know one thing, that the Lord chose each of us as his disciples, as individuals willing to become a part of something greater than ourselves, willing to follow and reflect the life of Christ in every situation of life, through every adversity, challenge, triumph, and success. Faith-filled, and faithful disciples who follow the Lord Jesus Christ and lead others to the fullness of eternal life in God's kingdom. The Lord has blessed us. May our blessing be the gift we offer to the world this day. The Lord gives comfort and peace to his people, and so it is with great faith and hope that we offer our prayers and petitions this day. That the church, its leaders and people, may lead people to God by the wisdom of the Holy Spirit and through the loving compassion of Christ, we pray to the Lord. That political leaders will avoid the temptations of power, pride, and arrogance and strive to serve with humility and compassion the needs of all peoples entrusted to their care, we pray to the Lord. That all who live in assisted living or extended care facilities may be blessed with good health and always be shown compassion by their caregivers, we pray to the Lord. that those who have died may be forever blessed in the peace of God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. And for those prayers, hopes, and petitions we hold this day in the silence of our hearts. God of mercy, blessing, and grace, in your kindness, hear and answer our prayers. By the guidance of the Holy Spirit, may we prayerfully prepare the way of the Lord each day for the life and hope of your world. Through Christ our Lord. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that this, our sacrifice, and the sacrifices of our own lives, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, as we honor the perpetual glory of the holy apostles Simon and Jude, we ask that you receive our prayers and lead us to a worthy celebration of these sacred mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. 
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, the Eternal Shepherd, do not leave your flock unattended, but through the blessed apostles, watch over us and protect us. Through the grace of the Holy Spirit, govern your people by those you appoint as humble and compassionate shepherds, who will faithfully lead the flock in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are indeed holy, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly ask. By that same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look upon the offering of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit, 
in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Paul the Apostle, St. Jude, St. Simon, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. Lord, may the sacrifice of our reconciliation advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm, in faith and charity, your pilgrim church on earth, your servant, Pope Francis, Alberto, the bishop of this diocese, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayer of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, grant kind admittance into your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow upon the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. United this day in voice and heart, and joining Christians throughout the world with faith, hope, and confidence, we once again echo the prayer of the Savior. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church gathered here this day, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. My sisters and brothers, for our world this day, for those who are near and dear to us, we offer a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, 
I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ My sisters and brothers, at this time I invite you to pray the prayer for a spiritual communion. Let us pray. O Lord, having received this sacred sacrament, we humbly ask through the grace of the Holy Spirit that what we do to honor the glorious passion of the apostles Simon and Jude may forever keep us in your love. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the grace and blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you, remaining with you now and forever. Our celebration is ended with each day to love and serve the Lord.